We very big, proud day for all the athletes in Massachusetts, all the athletes in Boston. We have our first national champion BBS in a long time. We are going to the for the future of all of the Massachusetts kids in Boston Public Schools. First time we have ever had in the year athletes. How does that feel set the standards to make this year today? Um, it just feels nice knowing that I'm the first one and I won't be in the uh, basketball. It just everyone else knowing that since you're in a wheelchair, it doesn't mean that you can't do something. It means that you just do it in a different way. And because you're doing it in a different way, it shows everyone else that we can do everything that you guys can do. And sometimes we can even do it in a better way. It's like proving them what we can do and how we can do it. So um, what's next for you? What, what, we, what are we doing for that for us? Um, we're gonna make, gonna make it up to the top again. Um, just do everything that I can. Alright, so this is actually a really complicated round. We're gonna make it up. 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 we are the journey's been long, from Haiti to Boston. And the story is an amazing story. We talk about the triumph, what it took. We just see times in this one. In Haiti, the earthquake, the traveling to Boston, Massachusetts, fighting the whole tech battle. And now you are a national champion in wheelchair. Can you just touch real quick on that journey? How special that journey's been for you? Um, I couldn't do it without my mom. Uh, my mom is like she's the best woman that you can possibly imagine. She's the best mother and she cares about me a lot. Um, and without her, I wouldn't be able to do all the amazing sports that I do. I couldn't, I wouldn't be able to see that person like I do now. Um, and it's just she's been there supporting me every step of the way. And because of her, I was able to make it to the gap. Thank you, my man. Thank you. All right.